welcome back so today I'm gonna to do um, like a wind liner and red lips so quite 1950s kind of style so hope you enjoy popping a concealer all over my my eye area just as a base I'm just using a small sponge just to um, to pack that on so that we can have a, a fresh start, fresh base. So once that's done, you can get a, I'm using the Balm Cosmetics Meat Matrimony. And I'm just going to go with like an all over ivory colour and just pop it all over the eye. Just to set that. I'm going to the same palette. I'm going to go with this kind of a warm brown and the cooler brown and just mix them. And I'm going to pop that into the kind of crease area. A little bit at a time. Just fill that up. Just going to blend out the edges. Gonna get the bone color and just make sure the edges are blended. So once that first bit is done, I'm then gonna grab my angle brush and I have a Flomar brow shadow and I'm just gonna fill in my brows. So that'll give me an idea because we will be putting a winged liner. So I want to have my brows done first. So we we'll start with our bottom line. Just brush them upwards. our top line so I always make sure I don't have too much product on the brush when I'm going to the front and I just brush upwards because I don't like when that's too dark right there you want that to be kind of faded and make sure we're all okay back here Grab your spoolie and brush them out. And brush them up at the front. So that's one brow done. So I'm gonna head and do the other one and I'll come back then. So now I've got my brows done. I'm gonna go back to my crease area and I'm gonna go a little bit darker on the eyeshadow. And we're gonna pop it in on top of where we put that original colour but keeping it kind of in the centre just to deepen the crease slightly now it's a very very light shade difference it's not it doesn't go too dark tiny little bit I'm just going to get the bone colour again and just diffuse the edge same on this side So then I'm just going to get a little a flat brush. So this one is from the So Sue and Kaylee collaboration and it's number SK05. And I'm just going to get a white from the So Sue and Kaylee palette. And I'm literally going to just pack that onto the 
late. And bring it across to meet the shadow you've already placed over here. It's gonna go back for my, what brush is this? So this is a blank canvas brush and it's E26. And I'm gonna just blend the edge of that. So it's literally just to brighten this area. So next I'm gonna go and do my winged liner. So I have the Inglot gel liner in number 77, the little pot of that. And I'm just adding a little bit of jawline just to make it a little bit smoother. And then I'm also using the Inglot 31T angle brush. See how sharp that is? You wanna start with your liner you want to continue it from your bottom line upwards. So you want it to go upwards and outwards. That's your first initial line. So then you want to grab close to the outer corner and pull back inwards. So you get that V shape there. And then you want to bring it all the way in. And you want to fill it in. So you want to be that much done, you want to come into your inner corner and keep it, for this look now, I want to keep it fairly thin in the inner corner. So slow and steady, we'll get you there. So we're getting there now. So, what you also want to make sure when you're doing this is that you've got right into the lash line and that you've no flesh color being seen under your liner, close to your eye, because it just, it ruins the look. Is get right in on your waterline. So just under your lashes and push upwards. And then just make sure you've no gaps then in your your lash line. So I'm just gonna make sure this is nice and sharp out here. But our trick here also, if you're struggling with your la your liner is that if you have it done and you feel like it's just not quite sharp enough underneath, you can always go in like with a wipe wrap it around your finger and you can just drag it along under the line if you want it it'll just sharpen up that bottom line if you feel like you wish to do that so just another a little tip if you're if you're struggling while you're learning how to do the the liner with the gel liner okay so once with that done then I'm gonna move back then to my my blank canvas brush again same one I was I was blending my crease with and I'm gonna go with a slightly darker eyeshadow again so I'm going to dip back into the Kaylee and so Sue palette so we'll go for this brown now the smallest little bit what's this one oath so I'm just going to tap that off and I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to start where that liner in the crease here again the outer crease and I'm going to just brush that inwards with tiny little movements and just bring it right in over the lash, the liner and your outer corner of your lid. So the tiniest little bit. I'm just gonna get a fluffy, a clean fluffy brush. So this one is a fuchsia brush. So it's a tapered blended brush and it's number 202. And I'm just gonna blend the upper line of that. Make sure there's no edges that's all diffused so once you place your color down here it's more so the edges you want to blend you want to kind of diffuse it a little bit but then the edges is what you want to soften out because if you continually blend over where you've placed your shadow you're just going to blend it away 
so it's more so like along the edges so I'm going back to my fuchsia brush and just blending the edges again pop on some lashes so the lashes I have are they're just a Penny's brand or Primark and they're, they're the winged lash like this so it's just to give a lift in the outer corner so we're going to pop those on now so the glue is on so what I normally use is duo glue because it's latex free and it's safer on most eyes so I'm going to grab this as it is with the glue on and I'm gonna place it down so I'm looked down into a mirror and we're gonna place it right down on the lash line right up at the root so in the center is where you want to place it first okay so then I'm gonna grab the inner corner and push it right up into my eye I'm gonna let that sit for one second And then we're going to grab the outer corner. So I do the same there. And push it down. And that's them on. So I'm going to do the same with the other eye and I'll come back to you. These are on. Then you can move on and do your foundation. So the foundation that I'm using today is the Carter Beauty. And it's the half measure foundation and this one is in the color creme brulee because I have tan on right now okay so I've just popped some out here on a little classic thing and I'm gonna start off with a crown brush a stippling brush and I'm just gonna place it all over the face all over and then I'm getting um, a blank canvas f20 brush so it's quite a flat buffing brush I'm just gonna work that into the skin make sure it's blended down on the neck so I'm just pushing that into the skin just to make sure it's packed right in there this also sets your foundation this motion so you don't have to use too much powder then over it and so once you've that done I'm gonna get some concealer so I'm going to go back to the same concealer that I used when I was putting down on my eyes before the eyeshadow. So it's the J.C.A.P. concealer and it's water sealed and zero smudge concealer. So I'm going to go right under the eyes with that. So we do want a good bit of coverage here. Normally I wouldn't wear this amount of concealer but we want to go very coverage. So I'm getting my little beauty blender, small one, and we're just gonna pounce that on. So we've brought it right up under my winged liner just to sharpen that edge there as well. Concealer is in the colour buff and it's lovely for brightening under the eye and in the centre of the face. Blended out and pushed into the skin we're gonna go with um, our powder. So I'm using my Flomar loose powder in silver sand and I have a blank canvas brush and it's number F42. So it's kind of like tapered at the top. So I like to roll my brush in the powder so it's all around. 
and then we're going to just press it in this way we're not moving our foundation that we've spent a lot of time blending that's your powder done the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of contour and bronzer so I'm going in with my radiance palette from Sosu and Rosie Connolly so we have some lovely bronzers blushers and highlights in here so I'm gonna get this blank canvas f21 brush it's an angled brush and I'm gonna go into the espresso and I'm just gonna bring this all around the hairline so I'm starting in this circular motion and softly blend it down into the cheek, just under the cheekbone. So you want to do this kind of a three and underneath as well. Now I'm just gonna go back to my powder brush and just make sure we're all blended on the edges. It's all about blending. Because you can use a lot of products as long as it's blended correctly. To see the difference with just one side slightly done. Go back in for a little bit more. Just gonna place it here and I'm gonna brush it upwards just to create a bit of definition there. And go back to my blending brush and just make sure all those edges are blended. So because this is like a tapered brush at the top, so even if I have no product on this right now, but if you pop product in the top, all of these bristles around the edge, then once that presses down, will blend it out and it gives a lovely blended seamless edge. So again with the bronzer, you always want to blend upwards and outwards, whether you're using it as a bronzer or to, to slightly contour. You blend upwards and outwards, upwards and outwards. You don't blend downwards because you want to lift that, that jawline. So I'm going to get a Real Techniques brush. The number has gone off it, but that's it there and just add some blush on. The blush goes on the apples of the cheeks, which is right here. When you smile, those little apples there. And then I get my blending brush and I'll blend upwards and outwards again. Just blending the edges again more so. A MAC highlighter. It is Oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And I'm popping it on a Sosu Kaylee brush, SK01. It's like that. So a tapered brush as well. And I'm just going to pop it up onto the cheekbones here. It's a lovely golden. So I'm just going to pop this also just on the centre of the nose there and there, right on the tip and up on the bridge of the nose, tiny little bit up on the forehead, the smallest bit, just to add a bit of glow. When I do that, I still go back with my blending brush. So this is my blank canvas F42, and I will just blend that out slightly so that we're not, it's not too strong. And then I'll blend the edges here. 
with a flat brush I'm just getting a little bit of a light bronzer and I'm just going to brush it on either side of my nose just to add a little bit of colour there and a contour. So that when you turn sideways, you can't really see it, it's just more so it's there when you look directly on and just right at the tip. Gonna get this little Kaylee brush again with So Sue SK03. I'm gonna get a little bit of that highlight and I'm just gonna place it in the inner corner a little bit just to brighten that area. The smallest little bit in there. And just even give it a little buff out. For a brush, so it's kind of a flat, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go back to my eyeshadows again and the original ones out of the Balm Cosmetics palette. And I'm just putting a little bit right on the tip of it. And I want to run it under the eye to have a little bit of color there and not have your eyeshadow all really top heavy. Small bit at a time and it'll just build it up brush and a dark brown and I'm going to run it right along the lash line not the water line, the lash line just right across to where your lashes end just going to get that original brush and blend that it's all about blending. NYX Wonder Pencil. So I'm just gonna pop this on my waterline just to brighten the area. <clears throat> I'm gonna move ahead and put some mascara on. So I have Tarte Cosmet Cosmetics Big Ego um, Mascara. So I'm just gonna start with the bottom lashes. Pop some on. And then we have lashes on top, but we still want to run a little bit through just to merge your own lashes and the false lashes. So now I'm going to move on to the lips and what I have here is the lip combo from So Sue by Suzanne Jack Jackson. So this is the Seduction lip liner and then we have the lipstick as well. So. I really like these. They're they're quite long wearing, long lasting, and they're very they're not drying on the skin. So I'm gonna start then with the lip liner. So I have a little bit of an asymmetrical lip, so I have one side that's slightly lower than the other, so I always draw the lip liner slightly outside of that, but not on the other one. Just to even them back up. So 
with the red lips they can take a little bit of time to do especially if you're getting used to it only and sometimes you need to go back in with the lip liner so once you have the lips done then that's pretty much your look so it's um it's kind of like a 50s wing liner red lipstick hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you in the next video Bye.